The other day I was in Kmart doing a late night shop as you do and I came across the art section and I realized Kmart actually sells watercolor paints. They had no price tag on them when I picked them up so I was guessing maybe they'd be around $10 or something for a pack of 12. I took it to the till and it was $4 so these are very very cheap. If you know my channel you'll know that I'm a bit of a fan of bougie Daniel Smith watercolor paints and I spend way too much money on so them. So I'm very interested to see how the Kmart paints are going to compare to my more expensive watercolor paints and whether I've just been wasting my money all this time and should have just stuck with Kmart. Let's just start off with the basics of this palette. It has two yellows, two reds, two greens, two blues and two browns along with a black and a white. To test out these paints, I decided to sketch a photo of a barbecue that I had a couple of years ago when my grandma was visiting Sydney from the UK. You know, back when international travel was easy, remember that? With the initial wash, I found it kind of difficult to get the pigment to spread out smoothly through the water for an even wash, which left a little bit of a bitty texture behind, but since I was kind of replicating wood, it didn't really bother me too much, but I'd imagine if you were doing something like a portrait, it might actually be a little bit difficult to get that really smooth effect. The brightness of the yellows and the oranges were actually pretty surprisingly good, as was the darkness that I could get out of the black paint. I usually try to stay away from pure black paint, as you can mix more interesting blacks with blues and browns and things like that, but I actually found it kind of difficult to mix a black with this set. So in the end, I did end up relying a little bit more on the black paint provided than I would usually do when I'm just painting with my normal paints. The only other thing I'd say with this black is it's very, very opaque. So you can see with the kebab skewers of vegetables that it is a little bit opaque, which means basically none of the paper is shining through, which for most paint you wouldn't actually necessarily want. But with watercolour, it is really nice to have that paper shine through and that's what gives watercolour that really translucent lovely feeling when you look at it but I feel like with this black it was a little bit opaque which I wasn't a big big fan of. Once I'd gotten the initial colours down I added some white Posca pen and Tombow duo brush pen to bring out the highlights and the shadows. I actually then left this painting and came back the next day so you can see me kind of struggling to reactivate this paint once it has dried. One of my favourite things with Daniel Smith paint is you can completely let the paint dry in the pan and then easily reactivate it with water which is one of the best things about watercolour paint in my opinion is you never waste the paint but with this one it could reactivate it just was a little bit tricky to do so that is something to bear in mind but I guess it is so cheap that if you end up wasting a little bit of the paint it's not the biggest deal in the world. And then I finally just used a ruler, I was using lots of mathematical equipment in this painting um, just to get these lines straight because I'm really bad at drawing a straight line. And I felt like adding these lines really just made the whole thing together and just made the painting pop a little bit. And you can see once I cover up the gaps in the table with a little more paint, they start to fade away a little bit, which is partly to do with it not being as transparent. So depending on what effect you're going for, this can actually be a good thing, but sometimes if you, if you just want to layer lots of paint over the top of each other, then it can be a bit of a challenge because you can end up just looking a little bit muddy in the end. Overall though, I really enjoyed this sketch and the paints didn't slow me down too much. So if you're on a budget and really want to start watercolour painting, I can happily recommend these paints. Just don't try to paint anything too vivid, expect a slightly muted feel to the colours and maybe just try and do one or two layers, three at the max, but you're not going to be able to layer these paints without it getting a little bit muddy.